everyone, my name is John, and welcome to another video. Yes, I have my one and only Hogwarts Express back. It's been a while since I've owned it. <laughs> not owned it. It's been a while since I've had it in my possession because it is it was broken, or the one that I had before. Because I got a brand new one, and now the brand new one runs like a gem. So here is the brand new Hogwarts Express. It is an absolute beaut. Um, it looks just like the other one. Um, but of course, it's a brand new one and not broken. So here is the box. It looks exactly the same as the other one. It's very nice packaging. I love it. Uh, it has a lot of cool, cool script all over it. And there's a picture on the bottom. Demander Sound Coach included. Now equipped with Bluetooth. Wizarding Ward. Remote control system. Harry Potter. Express. I love this box, it's super cool. This is a classic line out box that they have been using ever since uh, for quite a while now, for about two years, I think. I don't know. It's very simple packaging, it's nothing too special about it. Um, okay, there we go. It's very simple packaging. I mean, basically, remote sits in here, tender sits in there. Um, here's where the engine goes, has some nice little pieces in there. Down here would be the cars, all individually wept. Then under that, that little box, that big box right there, is where all the brand new track was, which was very nice. Okay, it's kind of a pain to get this back together. I got it though. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Back together, back together. Ba -ba, ba -ba. All right, there we go. That's good. All right. And then in here is just the extra traction tires. These traction tires are extra big, especially for the wheels on this engine, because they're ginormous. So Lionel, of course, equipped those with extra big traction tires. Biggest traction tires of our own. They're absolutely humongous. And there's nothing else in the box but this, you know, anything. I have this upside down. Let's put it back in the box. That's all I'll go ahead and do right now. Do -do. All right. Let's get y'all back in your box. I do have another Lino engine or train set that, of course, had this exact same packaging where it had this type of simple cardboard packaging where it just had the uh, the tender and engine and that little plastic container and then under it was the cars and then the track like that. Um, there we go. Nice and secure. I kind of wish that they kind of had like a... Hmm, do I have a box that can describe that? Yeah, I do. This is a box for my Commodore. Um, I kind of wish they had like that you know, thing because I... Because that's a lot more useful than having to have a box that kind of is just glued together, which is kind of meh, but that's fine. Under here, you can see the other box. So, this is for the Pennsylvania Flyer. Um, this one had the exact same packaging. Here's the Pennsylvania Flyer right here. I have it sitting on this little track. There's some extra track. It's my Commodore right there, a beaut. And this is my Pennsylvania Flyer. Which is very gorgeous. <laughs> and and um, just a note the traction tires on these are very small because the wheels are very small on this. Then you go over to the Hogwarts, these have much more bigger wheels, so those traction tires are humongous compared to those, which is kind of funny. But there is the Hogwarts and all of its glory. Um, I actually do want to point something out that was kind of unusual. On the older one, or the broken one, there was like a spot of paint. That was not there that was missing it was like supposed to be black but it was kind of reddish right there and it was like if the paint was forcefully scraped off and i want to go ahead and point that out that that was not me i don't know what that came from but it was just like that i don't know like, but oh well so it's a brand new engine brand new chain set um uh, here's the three cars this one still has a dementors car that's one important thing i do love about this engine or chain set apart from the engine itself it's an absolute beautiful European engine. 
Um, I did, during the review, I did kind of say the wrong thing about the engine. So, the real life engine was called the Alton Hall, which was what the actual engine was called in Europe. And um, there were special times where it was actually called the Hogwarts Express and stuff like that, which was pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah. Now, if you haven't seen the review already, um, I have done a review. Um, as you can tell, I do have my new Bachman O scale Plasticville signal, signal bridges, or bridge signals. These are absolutely amazing. I love these. These have been a great addition to my layout. It really does fill up even more stuff that I really wanted kind of adds to the landscape to my layout a little bit more which i actually absolutely love these are absolutely gorgeous and what's kind of cool sometimes as as, as i'm running my steam engines either either the hogwarts or the commodore or this one or oh oh i almost knocked something over that would have been painful or my pool express either of those any steam engines that i own they would be pretty cool to have because sometimes the smoke would like go under the the uh, signals and kind of catch the smoke a little bit which is pretty awesome so I did glue these together because these are supposed to be snapped together but because they were snapped together some of the things didn't snap on well like the top bridge and stuff so I kind of just decided to just super glue them together and I definitely did it that was very smart of me to use super glue because these bridges are a lot more sturdy I know they're kind of wiggling around but they would have wiggled around a lot more worse before which are very nice so, yeah um, and there's a second one over there for the station. Now I do want to point something out as well. Um, I didn't want to do a layout upgrading video because it really wasn't something that big. But basically what I did is I actually moved the track back a few inches, about an inch or so. So if you see right here in the wood, you can see that's where the original track used to be. That's where the original placement of the track used to be. But I moved it back about an inch. And the reason I did that is because, um, is because there was a, there was like this gap behind the platform of the station. And so I went ahead and measured things out. And now the station is right on the edge of the, right on the edge of the wood, which I wanted to do in the first place because it's now very symmetrical. And now... I could actually have some more room up in the front and have less room in the back because having less room in the back is much more better than not having enough room in the front because on the front I need to have a lot of space for future stuff and also more space for the road because the road used to be like here. It used to be like there. Now it's back here, which is good. Uh, so yeah, I basically moved it back a bit. I moved it back about an inch. And so everything is very close over there. Have some more space over here for stuff for future projects. DC Remote Commander Remote. I absolutely love this thing. I've had this thing for about two weeks or so, and I suppose it has gave me great results. I love it so much. Um, so the crate crossing over there. I do it. Had to move. Um, if you look at the wood. That's the original hole where the uh, crossing used to be. But because I moved this back. Uh, I uh, I had to move the crossing to a different location, so I had to do that. And uh, that, and the day I did this was like uh, I don't remember what day. I think it was like the twenty sixth, maybe. I have no idea. No, it was not the day. Was it? No, it was the twenty seventh. I think. Yeah, it was the twenty seventh. Um, the day after I packed up the old one, um, I basically put back all the old track together. And uh, I packed up the old, I put back the old track because I replaced the old track with the new track from the old Hogwarts. But then because I had to pack everything up, I had to take out the track and uh, it was a pain. So uh, what I actually did is I decided to just push the layout back so I can have more room. Now since I got my Hogwarts back, I decided to uh, put the new track on and... Um, let me go ahead and give you a quick tour. So, this one is brand new. I'm now using this as my power track, so I should not have any problems with power at all. This whole curve is brand new. New, 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 and new. 
that is old because of course I can't get a replacement just yet. That one's new. That one's new. That one's not new. That one's old. But it's still good though. This one is also old, but it's still good. And then this other curve is brand new. Right here is my is a new piece of plug and play plug and play track that came with the train. I did have old plug and play track. Is this it? Uh, yep, it is. So this is old plug and play track. This is not even. I mean, this one. I mean, it's good enough, but it recently just started malfunctioning. Like sometimes it would just not be on. Sometimes it just didn't want to have power going through it. It was really weird. So I replaced it fully with a brand new one. And so the good thing is, is that this whole whole entire side is all brand new track. Brand new curves, brand new track, 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 brand new track. Awesome. This is all brand new track because I got this separate plug and play piece or track for my station. Um, the five inch piece for the crossing, the isolation track. Brand new track, of course, because great crossing. Another isolation track, and then the plug and play track. So, whole side is brand new, and then of course the bridge, and then the other bridge over there. Pretty awesome. So yeah, that's basically what I've changed out. Pushed back the track a few inches. Uh, changed up the track for the brand new ones. Of course, got my brand new Hogwarts. Added the bridges, and that's pretty cool. So, to close off this video, I'm going to go ahead and run the Hogwarts around for a lap to close this off this video. So, plug in my DCS Robot Commander to add power to the track. It's a pain to do that, but whatever. Alright, there you go. Power's on. Flip the remote on. And there we go. Um, if you saw the, the train slowing down and speeding up a little bit, that was just my fault because I had a, I had like the remote in an awkward location and so it just kept slowing down and speeding up and slowing down and speeding up. So that was that was my fault. That was not the train's fault. Something I absolutely love about the Hogwarts, like even though this is a old school style uh, smoke unit, even though this is a old school smoke unit because of course they wanted to lower, they had to cut back on some things from what I know to make this a more affordable engine. Um, this smoke unit smokes super well, even though it's an old school style smoke, smoke unit. Um, like, it smokes really well, as you can tell in the video. And also, what's really cool about it, is like when it's an idol, you can still see the smoke coming out of the smoke unit, even though this is not a fan driven smoke unit, but it's still really awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, just showing you, oh, it's not quick at all, because every single video I make, it's always long. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It's just weird. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video showing you guys that I got my Hogwarts back. Um, put brand new track, so I should not have any issues. New bridges, or signal bridges. Push back the track a little bit. And uh, yeah, that is my new layout. And of course, got my Hogwarts back. So yeah, that is going to be doing it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time.